Foottrading.co.uk is back and it is better than ever. Firstly, thank you if you are a new or returning subscriber to the site. It means the world to us and we will not let you guys down. If you want to know what it is, it is our trading website where we help you guys make millions of coins a month. We've already got people that have made over a million in the first few days of using the site. What do you get for your money? For £10 a month, you get buying prices and selling prices for shadows, anchors and hunters on both Xbox and PS4. You also get an investment area which has already made people a huge amount of coins and Thursday flips every week to make sure you guys are getting the best value for money and make as many coins as you possibly can. You can't do that with FIFA points, I promise you now. You will make far more of this than you ever make with FIFA points. £15 a month also gets you access to live filters. These are the best filters on the game at any one time. They're updated daily, I think a couple of times a day at the moment to make sure that the prices are accurate and you guys are able to buy and sell without any stress. We get the prices for you. To give an example, this right here is all the hunter prices we currently have for the game. Nearly a thousand cards on that. And simplistically, you will search for a player. It will tell you the price to buy them for with a hunter, the price to sell them for with the hunter, usually selling them overnight, making huge profit from all those cards throughout the day. Um, that price there, don't rely on it as gospel. It gets changed all the time because the price goes up and down. We update three to four times a day. Make sure you click the link down below to check it out. Make sure you join the Discord, completely free to join. It will help you with using the site and just getting training tips in general. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss a trading video. I'm here to help you guys make as many coins as possible this year. Check out foottrading.co.uk. That will make you millions of coins this year very, very easily. Make sure you have a look at it. The Discord, completely free to join. Click the link down below. Get involved. We've had over 250 people join that in the last 24 hours. So make sure you come and join one of the fastest growing FIFA communities out there. And click the link down below. Check me out on Twitch. I live stream most days doing all this stuff live. So if you have any questions, concerns, queries, you can ask me directly. And if you can't do that, you don't want to come over to Twitch, just comment on the video. I'll try my hardest to respond to as many comments as I possibly can. So drop a comment on the video. Anything you need help with or anything you want to see on the channel. But... Today's video essentially is, the game is now full released, which is awesome, the game is out, um, and it's about teaching you guys how you can make coins using Footbin and Footbin Advanced SBC Solutions. It's something that a lot of people know about, but I, I find it crazy how many people don't know how easy it is to make coins using those solutions. So, if you don't know what the Advanced SBCs are, they are a set of three SBCs we get when the game launches every single year, which provide very, very good packs back. They're pretty much impossible to lose coins on and you tend to make quite good coins back on them. When most people get on the game, it's one of the first things they do. If you watch my How to Get Started on FIFA guide, it's one of the things I said straight away, go and do the advanced SPCs. You're almost guaranteed to make a fat amount of profit. So, when the game Early Access starts, I've been told it's about 20% of the player base will be on during Early Access. That's a 10-hour trial. Then 10% more come on for the Ultimate and Champions Edition, roughly, give or take. And then most people that come onto this game come on for full release. Now, I'm recording this video today on full release. It is the 9th of October. Um, and so there's a massive wave of players that hit the game on that day. So what does that mean for us when we're trading and making coins? It means we've got a massive, massive pool of people that we can sell our cards to. It does mean there's more supply. It does mean people are opening up packs. But it also means that there's still the demand there for those cards to be bought. So what we do is we use Footbin and SBC solutions to make as many coins as we possibly can. So that's what this video is about. Let's get into it. All right, you awesome people. So if you don't know this already, you now know Footbin have an area which is up here, which is basically the SBC solutions. What it does is it tells you the active challenges. It's really cool because it tells you roughly how much stuff it's going to cost. So right now, the Dominic Calvert-Lewin SBC has just dropped. I'm waiting to see how much it is before I decide whether or not I'm going to do it. I am trying to stay away from too many untradables this year, but... Hey, hey, oh, that is that's not relevant to this video. Um, but you click on it, you go to active challenges, and then you can search any of the challenges you want and look for solutions. Now, people use these solutions to go and buy players to save themselves, not save themselves coins, save themselves time in terms of putting together the solution they need for any SBC, whether that's Dominic Calvert Lewin, whether that's the advanced SBCs, whether that's anything at all that comes out as an SBC on this game. The problem with this is if people tend to search for the same sort of squad, the cheapest one, no loyalty. And that means that what happens is, is it drives the price up of some of the players. So if we look at this SBC here, this is the final one for the hybrid, hybrid nations, I believe it is. This is an SBC, it doesn't require loyalty. It's the first one that everyone does. And so if we look at all these, all these cards here, we go, okay, cool. These are all the ones that are there. Which ones am I interested in? I tend to mainly be interested in the ones that are a really weird nation, um, especially ones that are off nation for the league um, and non-rares. 
The reason why I go for non-rares is people don't tend to look at non-rares and they're easy to get hold of, a lot easier to get hold of, whether that's by sniping or bidding. But I look at this team here and I think, okay, cool, this Tap Sober is one that I've just been trading with and I'll show you that in a second. This Griffo looks good to me. Ben Sabini could be quite good as well because there aren't that many left wing backs in the league um, that are, I guess, of, of, of nation because you've got to have 10 nations for this SBC. But really all I do is I go through this, then I'll go to another SBC solution, I'll click on it again, go back, and I'll look for another one. And I'll look for another one, and I'll look for another one, and I will keep looking and see which players are reoccurring. Now I can tell you, this Tap Sober keeps coming up in a lot of these solutions because he's Burkina Faso from the Bundesliga. He keeps coming up in solutions. So I like him. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me see what it's going for. So according to Footbin, he is going for 1,100 coins. So if we go over to the game, and I'll show you what actually is going on with him. If I go to Transfer Market and have a little look at Taps Over, who is there. He's actually going for a lot more than that. Let me just quickly, I'll do, I'll do buy it now to show you. It's not a lot easier to do buy it now because I've bidden on him a minute ago. Let's go buy it now. He's actually going for between 1,800 and 1,700, 1,800 coins. I've been selling him for 1,900 coins all morning, no problem. Um, and so, it gives you an option. You can literally do the usual thing I said before, compare price, back out, and wait for more to pop. Compare price, back out. You can probably buy all these here realistically, listen for 1,900 coins, ain't that much profit, there's no point. But you can compare price, back out on him, and do that, and all that good stuff, and whatever you want to do. Now, I've done that, picked up a few of him, but again, in my opinion, the best way to go about this is to bid. If you can bid on these players, that is really where you're going to make the most profit. Now, I'm going to show you. We've got these two tap sobers that I'm going to miss out on. But look, two of them gone for 1,100 coins. I just bought, I just been there for 1,900. That's so jarring. I thought it was less than that. Anyway, made a mistake. It happens. Uh, these tap sobers here, they've both just gone for 1,100 coins. I've, while I've been recording this and setting bits up and whatnot, I've seen 15 go through, not one for more than 1,300 coins. Now, if you are sitting there on that field and you pick up those 15 of them, just in the space, we're talking about 13 minutes, I think it was, that I saw those go through. You look at 15 of them at 500 coins profit each after EA tax, because obviously you get taxed on that. You are looking at something in the region, I believe, of 7,500 coins for 15 minutes work. It's not hard. And the thing is, you won't just be doing that. As I'm doing that, I'm also going to be doing my usual thing of picking up silvers. I'm going to be doing my usual thing of picking up other cards. So in the space of 15, 20 minutes, you can be picking up 20, 30,000 coins relatively easily. These Griffos, now I know right now, they are selling for 1,200 coins each. I pick these guys up here. I'm looking at about, after tax, 350 a card. So that's 1,000 coins on them. And it's a really simplistic way. You can look at these solutions and you need to see which players are continually coming up. The, the best ones to look at are the ones that need loyalty. I like the loyalty ones, especially when it's a solution that doesn't require loyalty later on. They can be really good. But the ones that need loyalty tend to be a bit more specific in players you tend to see a lot more of the same players coming up so a lot of argentinian players a lot of brazilian players but it's simplistic you can literally go and snipe them up and that's fine but for me bidding is always the better me method at the moment because you can keep an eye on 10 11 12 13 of the same card it does get a bit frantic towards the end of it when you're sitting there going okay cool i've got griffos on the go i've got tap sobers on the go i've got my silvers on the go but if you've got 50 cards and you're on your transfer targets or 30 cards whatever the maxes you can have on your transfer targets and you pick up half of those in that 15 minute spell, if you pick up 10, 15, 20k in that time, if you're making 50 to 60k per hour just doing that, you sit there for an evening, it's two, three hundred thousand coins of an evening. That's over a million coins a week, that's well over a million coins a week, possibly pushing to two million coins a week. And these aren't really trading methods that you need to think, okay, I've got to think long and hard about what I'm doing. You've just literally got to find out what they're selling for and what they're buying for and what you're buying them for. So go transfer this now, I want to show you. All these taps overs that I've gone and bought, Every single one of them sold for 1,900 coins. Okay? Really easy. I also want to show you the silver video you saw yesterday about me picking up silvers. Here you go. All the silvers that have gone and sold. And so for me right now, you can literally be sitting there. Let me read list something else. Coin farming, using silvers, using League FPC solutions, and have no need to stress about what you are doing. You can literally just sit there and go, okay, cool. They're selling for this amount. They're selling for this amount. Get a pen and paper if you need it. Get your phone up and go, okay, cool. Silvers in the Premier League selling for 700 coins. Silvers and Ligue 1, selling for 700 coins. Tap Sober, selling for between, at the moment, 17 to 1,800 coins. But I know you can sell for 1,900. I've done that. You've just seen it. Griffo, selling for 1,200 coins. And another one from the solution. Let's go Javi Martinez, selling for 1,000 1, coins. So you can go, okay, cool. Let me bid on all these cards. And I'll check Javi Martinez. Make sure you check the price. Don't rely on what it's telling you there. Let's check what Javi Martinez is selling for. Uh, 
Da -da 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 -da. Chevy Martinez. So again, the importance of checking here to make sure. So a thousand, there's a lot for a thousand coins. There's probably going to be some for lower than that. Let's just have a little look. So 900 coins here. We've got 850, we'll buy them. Um, I'd be mindful of that. I'd be like, okay, cool, there's not much profit in him. Who else could be expensive here? Ginter. Ginter's got quite a decent bit of value at the moment. Let's list him up for like 950, he should sell. I might go Ginter and have a look at Ginter. And then you start to get to the point where you've got three players on the go that you're bidding on. You've got silvers on the go that you're bidding on. You've got all these ways of making coins at the same time. Are you going to remember all of them? Are you going to keep up with all of them? No, of course you're not. But if you can keep up with three or four or five different methods at a time as Ginter, there we go. Ginter's now up at 1,700 coins, right? Cheapest of Ginter is 700 coins. So I then switch this around. I go, okay, cool, 1,200. And search. I go, okay, cool, let's put a bid on him there. Someone's already put another bid on him, so let's go up. Bid on him there, bid on him there, bid on him there. And I'll get a load of Ginters on my transfer pile. And that's from one solution, I've now got three players on the go. And I will rinse that, and while there's no competition, and while I'm able to pick up players relatively cheaply, I will rinse that like crazy. I'll be like, okay, cool, let me rinse this. Let's go there. So if I go up to 15 minutes on that Ginter, I'll then move on to another player. And I'll go, okay, cool, who else have we got here? Bender, Lars Bender. Let's have a look, look at Bender. Lars Bender. Find out again what he's selling for at minimum. It's telling me 1300. He's not 1300. He's not 1400. The Dominic Calvert Lewin SBC has just come out, which might have inflated these prices a little bit. But 1700 for this last bender. So, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go, okay, cool. Let me switch it around again. And let me search again. And then again, cool. So, we've got 750 here. 700 here. 750 here. And I will get as many as I can up for 15 minutes. I don't know exactly how many I can have my transfer targets. It might be 100, you know that. I literally can never remember. But we'll get a page of these up. Bid on. So we'll go 12 minutes on that one, and we'll come out. So I've got all these bids now. These players are all sat on my transfer targets. Just chilling. And then we go, okay, cool. So the Griffo's there. We'll get the, the ones we haven't sold. Haven't bought, sorry. So this taps over here. We're just building him now. And then what I'll do from now is I'll just sit here and I'll bid. Normally I might have some silvers here as well. And I'll try and just see what they go for. I know Tap Sober is going for 17 to 1800 coins. It allows me to bid on them. But then I'll just wait. And I've got all these cards here that are bidding on. And I'll just keep bids on them. I, I would tend to keep an idea. People say to me, don't bid on them until the last minute. I don't like that. I like to know when I see coins go back into my total there, I know it generally means that someone's outbid me on a card. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping on top of the coins that I'm spending. And I know what's going on. But this Tap Sober, for example, we'll just sit here at the moment. Someone's going to outbid me in a second, it's guaranteed. But we'll see if we get one. We'll just jump. I'm back in and back out. So someone's bought that bender for 1800, which is fine. So someone's going to bid me there. We'll just bid them up again. And some of you might win. Some people will, will literally bid you up to 1800 coins. And you're like, well, what's the point? You could have just bought him for that. Um, but it will happen. But what I've got now is a line, a conveyor belt of cards that I can bid on and make profit from. And I might not win all of them. It's, it's unlikely I win all of them. But this taps over here. So someone's bidding that again. We'll go back again. And we'll just keep going. And we'll keep going and we'll keep going and we'll keep going. But even if I'm making 200 of, of coins a card, if I've got 30 coins in my transfer pile for the 15 minutes I'm there, I'm still looking at, what, 6,000 coins and not have to worry about anything. I mean, I tend to make more than that because I tend to go with other cards. Go taps over again. And if I see this, if I see people massively outbidding me or bidding me up, I move on to another solution. I go, okay, cool. This solution is too hot. Let me go down one or two or three. Because sometimes people don't look at the specific first solution. They look at the second, third, fourth, thinking it's more chilled out, thinking it's going to be cheap and whatnot. And it gives you the option to go and make the coins back. So taps over. Those ones that went for 1100 everyone are probably now the, the ones that we're going to go for. But that's how you do it, basically. Let's go look at transfer list. We've sold 21 cards. Have we sold any more taps over? Again, we sold more taps overs. Now, Javi Martinez, I made nothing on him, really, but he sold. It gives you an example. I'll clear off the transfer pile now, so you can see that. But all of this work now, I've recorded these two videos back to front. So I've recorded yesterday's video and today's video back to front. And I think I've made about 20k, give or take, in the space of what is about a full, I'd say, 15 minutes of actually bidding. So that taps over there. We're going to make coins off that. We'll get him sold for 1900. I've just sold one for 1900, so we'll get him sold. Make a bit of profit on him. This bender here will bid him up to 1500. I don't really want to spend anything more than that. Another bender there. Something else is just sold, so we keep an eye on that. So just sold that hammer, the guy you saw me buy yesterday. We've got the rest of these cards still selling. 
And back to transfer targets again. And so we've got this tap, sorry, but is this Bender still in and around? We're cool. This Bender I'll let go now. We're moving transfer targets. He's too high. I don't really want to spend anything more than that. Benders will be climbing in price right now. I'd be mindful of that because Dominic Calvert Lewin's come out. He needs an 83 and an 84 squad. So 82s will get used. Um, this one here now should be good on our It has indeed. And it will be in this one. But cool. I'll show you that. That's sober. We now go, okay, cool. Let's assign all these cards. So now, again, as always, I know what Griffo's selling for because I've just checked his name for 1,200 coins. Tap so if I know what he's selling for. I've just sold another one for 1,900 coins. So we'll list him for 1,900 coins. We'll then take Griffo. We'll list him for 1,200 each because I know that's what he's selling for at the moment. Griffo again. I'm going to miss out on that bender, but you get the exact, you get the idea. I don't want to sit for ages doing that. Griffo. 1,200 coins. So we get those sold. And then again with the silvers here. Landry I paid 600 coins for. What's he going for at the moment? 900. So we'll list him for 900. He will sell for 900. Once that one 900 goes, he'll sell. This Robinson we pay 550 for. What's he currently going for? We can get 950 for him easily. Don't know why I went the wrong way there. And all I've got now is a constant conveyor belt of cards going onto my transfer pile that are selling and making me instant profit. 800 coins, and it's not requiring too much thought. Now, do I just do this? No, I do this just for a, a bit of a chilled out moment. I tend to do hunt and shadow trading uh, for most of my trading. It, uh, for me, it's the way I know the market at the back of my hand now, so I can do it. But this is more for those of you that don't really know. We actually did get one of the vendors, which is quite nice. Um, we will list him up for 1,700. He will sell. And then you go. Here is a conveyor belt in action, making your coins continually, profit continually. It's, it's really not difficult. It's really not hard. It's simplistic way to make coins. But that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully it's helped you guys understand how SBC solutions work. But there's a better way you can do this. And it's important to mention it. Come up with your own solution. So find a really cheap solution. Put it on Footbin. And people will buy the cards you've got. So you might come up with a brilliant solution that's cost you 11,000 coins. Go and buy tons of those cards. Put the solution on there. Wait for about an hour, two hours. Let the price come up and sell your cards on. It's such an easy way to make coins. I saw someone in my Discord the other day, I told him how to do it, and he went and had a little look and he's like, right, I'm going to go and do this. And he put together a solution, I think, for 13,000 coins, and cheaper to that point was 14,000 coins. They all started getting a bit cheaper. He bought about 30 of each card and just left himself unassigned, just chilling there, basically. And he waited, and suddenly the price went from, like, 1,000 coins to 1,500 to 2,000 coins, and then he sold them all. He made, like, 1,000 coins profit a card. He made massive, massive profit. So if you want to do that, it's another way you can do it. But it is going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing down below and turning on your notifications. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.